A student gets home from camp or a mission trip, and the parent asks how it was. And the student answers, good. How can we help parents get better answers from their teenagers? On this quick hit episode of Student Ministry Connection, I'll share five tips on how to get better answers from our students. Welcome to Student Ministry Connection, a podcast for those who serve in student ministry, but also want to connect with others and grow as disciples and leaders. My name is Steve Cullum, and I've served in student ministry since 1999. And in addition to serving as a youth pastor myself, I'm also a missionary with National Network of Youth Ministries, where I get to personally encourage, professionally equip, and spiritually strengthen youth leaders for faithful and effective ministry with the next generation. While some things have changed over the years, some things never change. One of them is how many teens will respond after youth group, camp, a mission trip, or something else. The parent or even a youth leader asks how it was, and all you hear back is, good. We all know there's more going on inside their heads and their hearts, but how do we get them to talk about it? And how do we help parents have good conversations with their kids? That's exactly what we're going to be talking about today on the podcast. But before we jump into that, let's pause and think the sponsor of this episode. Ministry can be complicated to navigate, especially when you're juggling multiple jobs, roles, or youth ministry gatherings. Student Ministry Connection believes that the best leaders are healthy leaders, leaders who are able to lead from a place of abundance rather than exhaustion. And that's why we believe in G-Shade's Youth Ministry Curriculum. With the release of Season 6, G-Shades is your simple solution for a gospel-centered youth ministry. Here's what's included. You can simplify your ministry with a comprehensive annual teaching curriculum and ministry strategy. Season 6 includes a year's worth of volunteer training resources, parent training resources, outreach events, discipleship events, and even two camps. You can clarify your students' faith with G-Shades' gospel-centered teaching strategy. Their curriculum is laser-focused on helping students see themselves, God, and others through the lens of the gospel. And it shows up in every topic, series, and week. And you can amplify your reach with G-Shade's qualitative and engaging video messages. Whether it's sharing the videos with your digital audience, giving parents a full preview of the content beforehand, or sending them out the next day to catch students up who missed out. G-Shades allows you to extend your ministry's reach, and that's not to mention the benefits of your students hearing the gospel preach from different voices and perspectives. There are lots of great youth ministry curriculums out there, but G-Shades sets itself apart because of a strong focus on the gospel. I've been so impressed with Mike and his team as they've created an amazing gospel-centered curriculum. So head over to G-S-H-A-D-E-S dot O-R-G to catch your first glimpse of G-Shades Season 6 with a four-week free trial. And when it's time to buy, you can use the offer code CONNECTION for 10% off their top-tier curriculum. G-Shades, seeing life through the lens of the gospel. You can find the link to G-Shades in our podcast show notes. As I said before, there are so many things that are going on inside the heads and the hearts of our teenagers. And parents are struggling with how to get those students to talk. So here are five tips that I think will help those students begin to talk. Number one is that we need to know that many students need to process first. They may not be ready to respond right away. So maybe parents need to schedule a time in the future when they can talk about it. Prompt them ahead of time that yes, we don't have to talk about it right now, but in a couple days, I'd love to hear more about it. That will help the kid think about it and then prepare what they're going to talk about. Number two, sometimes it helps to get students together. If parents have a carpool, sometimes they're more likely to hear about youth group, camp, or a mission trip just by listening in to the conversations in the back of a car. In fact, parents may not even have to ask any question. Just listen in. Number three, we can ask good questions while the students are still on the trip or during youth group time and also have them think about what they're going to share with their parents instead of just good. Sometimes I even ask them what they're planning on sharing with their parents when they get home. I'll also encourage them to journal throughout camp or a mission trip so they've already thought through what they're going to share, and then they can even read through that journal as they're sharing with their parents. Number four, 
we can prompt parents and guardians with some good open-ended questions. Some of them can be generic, but it also helps to have some questions that are directly tied to what we're going to be discussing at youth group, camp, or a mission trip. And I'll send those questions to parents ahead of time via email or a text. The email can explain what we're talking about and give several questions to ask, and a text can go out soon before we dismiss or get home with at least one question that parents can ask on their way home. And number five, I'd encourage you to have an event where students will share in front of the youth group or in front of the church. Parents and friends can come to that, and then they'll hear more about the trip. And then that can also prompt good conversations after the event, since parents can follow up on something they heard or saw at the sharing event. And that's it for this quick episode of Student Ministry Connection. I hope these tips will help you help parents have better conversations with their students after youth group, mission trips, camps, and other events. And if these tips did help, I encourage you to not only subscribe to this podcast, but also share it with another youth leader who may also need to hear tips like this or all the conversations that we have on our other episodes. If you're listening to this right after it gets published, I am currently at the Global Leadership Summit for GLS Next Gen. I'm actually going to be recording a talk, and that content is going to be used with lots of other content for GLS Next Gen 2025. And so, again, I'd appreciate your prayers. Before we wrap up, I also want to remind you, if you would like to support my ministry with National Network of Youth Ministries, you can become a financial partner or a prayer partner or both. Just head over to nnym.org slash Steve Cullum. And also, thank you so much to G-Shades for sponsoring this episode. Head over to gshades.org to check out the latest season of their curriculum. And be sure to use the promo code CONNECTION for 10% off your order. Thanks again for being here for this episode. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to do that on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube so you don't miss future episodes. Until next time, be sure to stay connected and may God bless your ministry.